Okay, today I'm so excited because I'm gonna show you as I get an incredible makeover by the one and only Lee Boys! I'm Are you guys gonna do my makeup? Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna make mommy look pretty? I'm yeah. gonna make you tiger. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna make yeah. me look like a tiger. Yeah, make you a cheetah. A cheetah. Okay, yeah. should we do this? So here's their setup. Mommy's gonna sit right there. We even have the Rio joining us. Okay, let's get to it, boys. Are you gonna put it on my eye? Really brings out the color of my eyes. Daddy's gonna like it. Yeah. tutorial now I usually do my makeup in like 10 minutes because with four kids and getting them off to school in the morning I literally have tops 10 minutes to get my whole face on and to get completely ready I do want to show you my like 10 minute quick mom makeover but tonight is date night so I do want to get a little bit more dolled up so I'll have to save that one for another time I'm honestly not a pro at makeup but this is just what kind of works for me so I'm gonna call it my date night makeup tutorial by a girl who doesn't know what the crap she's doing. <laughs> so here we go. I like to clip my hair out of my face. I use this Bobbi Brown foundation. It's my absolute favorite. I've used a couple of different kinds, but this is my go-to. I use it in number four, natural. I've used brushes and stuff before to like apply my makeup, and I've always just come back to liking using my hands. I don't know why, and any makeup artist will probably tell you not to do that, but I have just found that I like it better.
Once that is rubbed in, I use this 24 hour Studio Fix Matte Concealer. Man, do I really have to do that? I've never, I've never done the hand thing before. That's new. It really does make you focus. And I use it right under my eyes. And I honestly feel like this is the best mom hack. Moms are always hurt. So I put it right under my eyes, a tiny bit on my forehead, on the bridge of my nose, and then on my chin. And once again, I used to use a brush for this and I found that I like using my hands a lot better. And I just dab it. And it just like immediately brightens up my face and makes me look like I'm not tired. Now I'm gonna set my foundation with this powder. Oh, there we go. This is what it is, if you can see what it is. And I do use a brush for this one. I kind of use a little bit under my eyes to set that concealer. And then I use it in my T-zone to brighten up my face. And my face doesn't look so oily. Now it's time for my bronzer. Love this bronzer, I've been using it lately. It's called Give Me Sun by MAC. It's such a warm color and I love it. I start at the top, like under my cheekbone right here, kind of by my ear, and kind of dab it down and then start doing it like in a three. And I always do extra kind of underneath my jawbone. And then I use a tiny little bit of excess on the sides of my nose. Just a tad. I actually feel like this lighting in here is horrible, so hopefully you can even see what I'm doing. Next, I add my blush. I love this color. It's called Warm Soul, also by MAC. It's really subtle. Just adds that perfect touch to your cheek. Now I'm going to use my paint pot in painterly, painterly, using my fingers to add it to my eyelids. Oh my gosh. This is like so messy now from the twins. I bought this Morphe kit for this orange color for the kids' Oompa Loompa costume. Um, but now I'm actually like loving all these ones up here. So I have been using those as my eyeshadow. Morphe blush palette, but I've been using it on my eyes. See, it shows you how much I know. So since it's date night, I'm gonna use a little bit more on my eyes. I usually never really do much on my eyes because I'm always in a hurry. But today I'm gonna use Unapologetic on my whole eye. This is the part where you really know that I don't know what I'm doing, but I feel like it kind of turns out. Next, I'm gonna use this Mua, this one, and I'm gonna do it more on the crease of my eye. Kind of like the outer corner. Next, I'm gonna use Witty, and I'm gonna do that also on the outer corner of my eye. And then kind of smear it to the middle. Now I'm gonna use this Hyper Real Glow by MAC. I love this middle color. And I use this highlighter right on my cheek and kind of curve it around my eye. And then get a little bit like on the tip of my finger and I use it on the inside of my eye and smear it off. You can kind of see it. Oh, it's on there. I like to get my Morphe blush palette out again and I use this thin sucker. And then I just kind of use those colors that I use and I use them on the outside of my eye on the bottom. I'm using moi. How would you even say that? And I'll also use the witty one again. Now time for some brows. I use this Cabrow. Come on, come on, focus on them. Focus, up. there we go, Cabrow. And I just use a little brush that comes out of the top of it. Here's one brow. I always feel like my brows are pretty dark and I don't feel like I need to fill them in, but then when I do, I'm like, oh my gosh, it just makes the biggest difference to just have them filled in just a little bit more. There we go on the brows. For my like 10 minute makeup routine, I usually skip the eyeliner. Since it's date night, I'm using my eyeliner. I use this MAC pencil. I love it in the color Teddy. Get it, get it, come on. There we go, Teddy. Finally, I'm gonna use my mascara that I'm loving right now. I'm kind of like a mascara slut. 
I like to switch it up a lot, but I get hooked on something for a few months and then I get sick of it and want something new. The mascara that I've been hooked on lately is They're Real by Benefit. Gosh dang it. I'm really liking it. I usually don't like the brushes that are like rubbery like this. I usually like it kind of like more fluffy, but I've actually been loving this and I've been using it for like the past probably five months. This is probably my most flattering angle. Probably. Lashes are done. Now I'm going to brush my teeth because I always do that after doing my makeup. And yes, I was sitting in my sink. Who does their makeup not sitting in the sink? That's my question. And one of my tricks that I do is I brush my lips super good when I brush my teeth. Cause then I feel like my lipstick goes on so much smoother. Now I'm gonna line my lips with this lip pencil by MAC in Whirl. Just got this new lipstick by Lux called Hey Mr. DJ. Now I'm gonna use this gloss by Buxom called Dolly. So my makeup's all put on. I'm gonna finish it with this finishing spray by MAC. When the lady at the store was trying to get me to buy this, I was like, there's no way I'm gonna spend $30 on that bottle of water. And then she sprayed it on my face and I was like, crap. I seriously love it. It makes my makeup stay put all day. I swear by it. Just do some mist. Let it dry. Mom? We got a visitor. Mom? Who is it? <gasps> Come here. Mom. You're fighting? Yeah. Don't fight. No, Rad's fighting. Rad's fighting? And Dad, Dad's fighting. Say, be nice. Oh, you took it so they stopped fighting? Yes. Thank you. So that is the finished look of my makeup. It's a little bit more glam. I have more on my eyes than I usually do, but I think it's perfect for date night. It's super fast. I just kind of use what I have. Obviously, I don't know what I'm doing. I used a whole blush palette for my eyeshadow, but I really do like how it turned out. Um, I'm gonna hurry and do my hair and put some earrings in and then I'll be ready for date night. Since I'm already here, I'm just gonna hurry and show you how I do my hair. Super easy, I just use a straightener. I love my T3 Micro, it's my favorite straightener I've ever used. And I just use it to get those soft, kind of beachy looking curls. Since I'm putting heat on my hair, I always use some sort of protective serum. I've never used this kind before, so we'll see how I like it. And then I section my hair off from the bottom section and I clip up the top. Now it's time to start curling. I grab this front piece. I put it on and I wrap it around kind of once and pull down. And then I wrap my finger around it. And there's that curl. And then I just keep doing that all the way around. My bottom's all curled, and now I'm gonna do my top layer. Okay, now that everything's curled, I go back through one last time with my straightener and I straighten the ends of all of my pieces because I like them to be a little bit more messy. Even though my hair is freshly washed, I always use dry shampoo because I feel like it lifts the roots and gives me more volume. I haven't found a dry shampoo that I love yet, but I've been using the Batiste. I don't know how to say it. But I've been using this kind, and it works fine. And 
And there we go. That is my quick hair tutorial. It literally took five minutes. Just using my straightener, I can quickly curl all of my hair with these loose curls, and I can keep them for the next, like, should I tell you, five days? Ah, oh, that's so gross. Just gonna add some earrings. And I am ready for date night. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel.